you know i'm back and yo it feels like i haven't been here forever man listen first and foremost i want to say to myself and to all the other great fathers out there the daddies out there holding it down happy father's day all right so check it out we already know every day is father's day but you know we got the day so let's do it man and what other way to get down on the good foot is with a nice juicy ribeye steak some garlic buttery mashed potatoes that i made so fluffy like look oh we got some corn right here just boiled it butter salt pepper that's it some broccoli and a little garnish of uh chives you guys seen from the intro but let me give you a quick little shot right here look at that of course i got i'm trying this with horseradish today you guys oh yeah my mushrooms forgot i put some mushrooms on there with some onion and garlic Fried that up, sauteed it with some butter. There we go, there we go, there we go. A dad's meal. All right, so to drink today, this is my first time trying the mango lime. I believe this is my first time trying the mango lime summer's beast because you know how we do around here with the summer's beast. Shout out to Kerry, my homeboy from work over there at Lazy Boy. Um, this is his favorite drink too. 4.5% alcohol. I don't drink liquor or beer anymore i probably have one or two beers like you know a little function during the summer that's it but i just mainly drink these all right so cheers everybody man uh if you're new to my channel welcome if you haven't already subscribe to this channel we eat good food around here and keep it real and uh welcome back to all my ogs and my angels and the rest of the snoopy East gang and because you showed up we got to pull it up Color on this is bomb. Look at that. Mango and lime? That sounds like a bomb combination right there. Let's see if this is banger. Mm. Oh. That's hella good. You know, I need to quit. Quit bullshitting with yourself, Craig. I need to seriously stock up and buy like, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe like four to six of each flavor of these and keep them. Cheers again, y'all. Happy Father's Day. Let's get into this mukbang. Now, I've never had steak. Oh, man, I forgot. Yo, we got gravy, y'all. We got the gravy on deck for sure. And the horseradish right here by President's Choice. All right, so let's get to grubbing, y'all. Ooh, that smells so fresh. All right, so what I want to do first is pour a little gravy right here. Let's get the ooh, ooh. Let's get a little. Oh my God, jeez. The butter's leaking. She's leaking, though. She's leaking. Oh, a little mushroom right here. Let's try this. Ooh, one time for your mind. Let's get it right. You know. A little Snoopy Eats delicious buttery garlic mashed potatoes with some mushroom. Mmm. Straight banging. Mmm. Mm hmm. All right, we ain't playing. Let's put the corn. Mmm. I'm gonna need some room. Let's eat this down a bit. Oh my god. Mm. This is already banging right here. So let's cut. Oh wait, hold on. I need the ooh ooh. I need the ooh ooh. Need that. We're gonna need that. Believe that. All right, let's cut right into this centerpiece of the steak right here. So this one's like fully cooked. That's all right. Still nice and tender. Some parts are still pink. Mm. 
So what I want to do before I go add in, I just drizzled a little bit of um, Diane's um, barbecue sauce, just a little bit for this, for some sweetness. But I want to try this horseradish. So let's let's get a piece. I'm gonna put some horseradish in this container. Sorry, y'all. Put some in the container right here. Sorry, I'm in front of the camera. Bear with me. Okay, so we have it like this. So I just want to try it. Let's see. My first time ever having steak with horseradish on it. All right, let's go. Happy Father's Day, man. I hope everybody's okay out there. Safe, having fun, enjoying life. Oh my God. I can't believe I've been missing this this whole time. Hmm. Hell yeah. Horseradish on the steak, y'all. That's banging. <laughs> wow. Hmm. That's really good, huh? Shout out to Black Hoodie. He said he put his horseradish in his potato. Let's see. <laughs> Let's get a little broccoli up in there. Mmm. Scored. Ah, hella scored. <laughs> Now, of course, we need a little spice in our life. And a little heat in our seat. So let's hit a little ooh on there. Ooh, damn. That's good. All right. All right, all right. So creamy. Children, let Uncle Snoopy make your mashed potatoes for you. Guarantee you'll eat all your vegetables. Everything moms and pops tell you to sit down and eat. What you don't like, you will when you have this. Mm, it's like liquid love right here. Mm. I use yellow Yukon potato. Slightly overboil it, <clears throat> strain it, add a couple of drizzles of milk, two heaping spoons of butter. You could add like blended up garlic if you want. I put a whole small um, container of sour cream in there, salt and black pepper, and that's it. And then blend it for like about a good two to three minutes. late for my car meet on GTA with my crew but I have to do this video <clears throat> have to get this video done for you guys and in time for Papa's day hopefully or maybe a day or two after mm. I like my presentation.
Now, I know I get a lot of ladies and queens on my channel, but I want to know from the fellas out there, man, what is your favorite? I mean, it's Father's Day, so let's say Father's Day food meal or meal for Father's Day or just comfort meal, period. Me, one of them is definitely steak. I got tons of steak videos. Man, I watch a, I watch tons and tons of mukbangs and ASMRs, probably from people that you guys have never even heard of. <clears throat> and then I have my favorites, right? Um, and one of my favorites is a is a brother by the name of Ben Dean. Shout out to you, Ben Dean. And what he did was um, what was it? Was it a twenty four hour fast or forty eight hour two day fast, something like that? Excuse me, where he just drank water, right? And uh, he was famished. I mean, this dude was straight starving, right? So he went and got this big, juicy steak. And he cooked it up. And the way he ate that steak, man, I'm, let me tell you. You cancel all your plans or whatever it is that you thought you was going to eat that day. Because he will go and get you a steak. And, man, he was just going in on that steak, man. Cooked perfectly. He was describing it, too. Man, it just looked way too good. Mm. Oh, that mango and lime is bomb. <clears throat> I'm just gonna warm it up. Shout out to my boy, all your food reviews, man. I'm doing better. Coming up out of surgery with a success or surgeries. <clears throat> See this post on IG. So, what's up, Cuddy? Shout out to you, bro. Mm. First meal of the day. So busy. <clears throat> Woke up. My foot was all swollen. The same foot that I broke twice. I suffer with pain with it a lot. A lot more than I'd like to. But it's part of it. But it slowed me down by a couple hours. So I showered, got ready. <clears throat> I 
pop some Advil. And then I have the spray called BioFreeze. So if you guys are out there with bad, bad arthritis, <clears throat> like an injured back, or like my, you know, my back, my lower back, and then my neck, especially on this side, depending on if I sleep or if I lift something heavy the wrong way and I'm rushing, I'm just like, I want to get the day done with. I'll pull muscles and I'll strain tendons or whatever. And anybody that's, you know, strained their neck, you know, it's hell just to even look to the side, let alone when you're driving on the highway and you're switching lanes and you have to look over your shoulder or whatever. It hurts. It's a pain in the ass, right? But this stuff is expensive. It's called BioFreeze. And I picked up a can from the drugstore. I sprayed it on my foot. Probably like 10 seconds. And the pain was like pretty much gone. So it helps a lot. I have to use it. Like, not really too much on the weekends because I'm pretty much couch bound editing and filming and <coughs> video game and watching movies with my kids right but at work Monday to Friday I got to have it got to Nice juicy steak right here for my son. I'm talking I'm stealing all the fatty parts. He likes the fat parts too, right? <laughs> Have you seen this? Cooking. I was cooking it. But my son, Marcus, he's the type where especially he works hard, don't get me wrong, but he, he's a he's really relaxed. I wanna say lazy. <laughs> this dude will just kick it, right? So He's on the living room, and him and his girl cousin are playing uh, Mario Kart or something, right? He's like, Dad, what's that smell? He's like, oh, I'm making mashed potatoes for you, your sister, and your cousins, too. I'm going to make a whole bunch, so there's a lot. Said I'm making vegetables, too, because my daughter don't eat meat, right? And then, um, I, and then my steak. So then I start frying the steak. He starts smelling it, and he starts going crazy. comes in, he's like... He'll start, he hover. I love my son. He comes over, he starts hovering, smiling. Excuse me. So I already know every video that I do, especially the steak or anything like steak, ribs, um, uh, like if, if I buy like extra burgers or whatever, he's on it. But he loves, loves, loves the steak like me. So he's always like, oh, dad, are you going to eat all that though for the show? I'm like, hey, you know what? It depends. I said because like when I don't eat all day, my stomach kind of shrinks. My eyeballs are bigger than my, my tummy, but real talk, about an hour, hour and a half, two hours tops, I'll get hungry again. So this I'll heat up and eat. But he's like, no, let me, if you can't finish that, I'll eat it. I said, you know what? I'm going to save you. I'm going to save you a whole meal. He ate tons of mashed potato, but he, this kid is 6'1", about 6'1". Probably like a hundred and maybe 160 pounds, 170 tops, if that. And this kid, he's 25, but he's still a kid to me, baby. This boy can eat. Oh my god. He puts down, he cooks big steaks too when he buys them. But him, especially, his sister too, but him mostly, ever since a kid, mashed potatoes. Oh god, this kid looks like a mashed potato. <laughs> he does. His skin color is this. Yes, I do. But um, <laughs> anyway, this is his portion right here. That's gonna fill him. If not, then he'll have to order pizza because I'm not cooking no more. I'm chilling. 
hang out. I gotta go get with the crew. And let it do what it do. Ooh, ooh. But anyway, I want to give a huge shout out again to all the dads, all the fathers out there, man, including myself. Cheers, be safe, don't drink and drive, be spoiled. We deserve it. We don't get the recognition that we do. We do our jobs, which is natural. But like anything, it's nice to be pampered and uh, have people come and service you and hook you up with a nice steak dinner. So if that's what you're having or whatever it is, salute to you dads and fathers out there. Salute to my dad, my father, my granddad and all the dads, dads, daddy dads and dads and fathers and pops and granddads and great granddads and all that. Cheers. I love you guys. Oh, that's a nice little swig right there. I got some strawberry worms I'm going to go eat. Get my little sugar rush on and enjoy my evening. And I hope you guys enjoy yours too. Until next time, do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. You know, it's your boy Big Snoop signing out. Peace.